This is the ultimate shootout of iPhone 14 Pro versus the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. The battle of reliability and video performance versus the top of the line specs and features. Let's go to work. Hi everyone, this is JD, your Gadget Review friend. Welcome and welcome back to Gadget Rev Now. Every year, just every year, the fight of the iPhone Pro models versus the Samsung Ultras are pretty exciting. And I should say for the most part, iPhone is kind of dominating that comparison a bit more. Both companies redesigned their cameras and in real life, it performs better than the previous models. But I think the biggest redesign and overhaul came from the Samsung this year as they put 200 megapixel sensor, 8K video recording, and tons of customization features for the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. That's pretty exciting. So today our questions are, are we sticking to the ever-reliable set of sensors of iPhone 14 Pro or the over-the-top specs of S23 Ultra will so as to go for Samsung this year? Did Samsung finally address the video performance that iPhone dominated for the past few years or is iPhone Pro still the champ this year? That's a lot of questions, so yeah, let the ultimate shootout begin. We're starting with the audio test of these two phones for using the selfie camera for vlogging, 4K 30fps, Check 1, 2, 3, check 1, 2, 3. This is the audio that's coming out of iPhone 14 Pro Max. And check 1, 2, 3, check 1, 2, 3. This is the audio that's coming out of Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. On our first test, the audio, I didn't know why I say Pro Max. This is a regular iPhone 14 Pro. iPhone is actually better in terms of voice quality, but Samsung S23 Ultra blocks the noise better. This is a tie for me. For our first image test, color profile or saturation, generally the image coming out of S23 Ultra is brighter and the ones coming from iPhone 14 Pro is true to life but a little punchy. The colors on iPhone 14 Pro is similar to what you can see in real life but more colorful while Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra will give you a better exposed and cleaner photos that sometimes we can say, too good to be true. There's no right or wrong on this but I think both of them are pretty good but sometimes I prefer the more contrasty look of iPhone 14 Pro. Looking at this image, the sandals is actually pretty close to the colors in real life for iPhone 14 Pro. Looking at all sensors from the main ultra-wide and telephoto zoom and even the 10x optical zoom of S23 Ultra, the colors and tendencies they produce are consistent. I'm just mesmerized or blown out by the quality of the zoom photos the S23 Ultra can produce. Again, this is a matter of personal taste. This is the portrait video of Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra in 4K 30fps and man, this is as good as the cinematic video you can see on the iPhone 14 Pro. And this is the cinematic 4K 30fps of iPhone 14 Pro. I just thought there's a little bit of flaring on the lens, although I made sure that both lenses are clear and because of that, I think S23 Ultra is cleaner. This is super steady versus action mode of both phones and I think that sudden drop on the super steady is a little wobbly. While for action mode, it's pretty smooth all throughout the video, I think action mode has better stabilization. Let's talk about the elephant in the room, the zoom capabilities of Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. This is the 10x optical zoom of S23 Ultra versus the digital zoom of iPhone 14 Pro. And as you can see, the image quality of optical zoom is better. There's sharpening going on on the iPhone. If you zoom into this photo and use the maximum reach of both phones, S23 Ultra will give you 100 times zoom. I think you can even shoot moon on this phone and iPhone 14 Pro can only give you 15 times digital crop. If you compare the quality of the crop of 100 times versus 15 times, it's 100 light years away. And even in wildlife, as you can see if I zoom in on the flying geese, the image is sharp and closer on S23 Ultra. It's creepy to say at least. Flaring on both phones are pretty good. I think iPhone is able to clean the flaring on the lens, on the images, but on video recording, I always see this annoying flaring on iPhone 14 Pro. In terms of exposure, Samsung S23 Ultra is brighter and exposes the subject better, but I think sometimes it looks washed out, so I prefer the darker but more contrasty feel of iPhone 14 Pro. This is Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra's 8K 30fps video recording. There's still a shutter lag on this phone. Anyway, if you like this type of camera comparison video, don't forget to subscribe. This is Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra's 4K 30fps using the rear camera and I'll be nitpicking on this. The video, if you look at the background, is a little jittery. That sudden shift is a little wobbly. 
And this is iPhone 14 Pro. Again, 4K 30 FPS using the rear camera. And look at the background. It is super smooth. You can rewind this part if you want to see that again. Let me go ahead and stick the ultra wide, and this is 4K 30 FPS using the ultra wide lens of S23 Ultra, and the jittery issue was now fixed. So ultra wide is the perfect vlogging focal length on this phone. And this is iPhone 14 Pro 4K at 30 FPS. It produces the same looking video as Galaxy S23 Ultra, just too close. It looks the same. Next is close focus and both phones has macro capability, but the out of focus or background blur is greater on S23 Ultra. And if you zoom into the sample images, you will notice that Samsung S23 Ultra produces a more detailed macro images. So if you love close-up shots, this is a perfect phone for you. In terms of filters, iPhone 14 Pro mostly has black and white and shades of brown and reds, but Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra has fun filters to choose from. So. It's more fun shooting with Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra because of the filters. Here are some samples of them. In terms of white balance, Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra is cooler and iPhone 14 Pro is warmer. As I was reviewing this two phone, I feel like the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra is a little bit rushed. It's not polished because there's a lot of potential on this phone. But if you compare it with iPhone 14 Pro, on some situations, they almost feels the same. But if you talk about the performance of Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra, it's like shoot and post because there's a lot of customizations and fun features of this phone. This is the zoom video test of iPhone 14 Pro, 4K at 30 FPS, and it can only zoom up to 9x. And this is the zoom test of Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra, same value as iPhone 14 Pro, but it can reach up to 20x. This is the side-by-side -side slow motion and super slow motion test of S23 Ultra and iPhone 14 Pro. I think the slow motion feature of S23 Ultra is better compared to the iPhone. This is the sharpness test and you will love the sharpness of both phones in all focal lengths from regular wide, ultra wide and telephoto and 10 times optical zoom of Samsung S23 Ultra. Everything is just tack sharp. Again, if you're cropping in, it's a different story because you have a bigger megapixel to play with on S23 Ultra. In terms of details of the 12 megapixel output for both phones, Samsung S23 Ultra will crush the iPhone 14 Pro. Next is selfie video 4K 30 FPS, and this is Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. My complexion is whiter and my skin is smoother, and in terms of stabilization, it feels like the main sensor. While on iPhone 14 Pro, the stabilization is not as smooth as the main sensor, it feels the same as Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra, but more contrasty. This is the portrait mode without human subject, and you can shoot 1x and 3x on Samsung S23 Ultra. I think iPhone 14 Pro loses on subject separation. The cutout is not accurate. For human subject, the complexion on S23 Ultra is whiter and smoother, but in terms of details, I think both of them produce the same, but it looks nicer on S23 Ultra. Again, S23 Ultra is more accurate and cutting the subject better. Night mode is also better on S23 Ultra. It exposes the subject better as you can see on the trees. There's a little bit of information on the shadows. I just noticed a strong fringing on S23 Ultra as you can see on the light here. But going back to the trees, you will see that S23 Ultra produces a softer image compared to the over-sharpened iPhone 14 Pro. And speaking of over-sharpened photos, the photos you would see on iPhone 14 Pro has a lot of noise. But in terms of video performance, it's a different story. Starting with the selfie video, the white balance is off on Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. Well, iPhone 14 Pro nailed the white balance and the quality is much cleaner too. Same story with the main sensor. 
I don't like this noisy video to begin with. But on iPhone 14 Pro, it looks cleaner compared to S23 Ultra. And lastly, 200 megapixel versus 50 megapixel. I would say that iPhone 14 Pro is better compared to S23 Ultra on the megapixel war. I think it produces a more detailed photo. But then again, if you look at the details of the trees on this image, it is softer compared to the over-sharpened 50 megapixel image of the iPhone 14 Pro. So this is the ultimate shootout of iPhone 14 Pro and Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. This is the battle of two of the finest camera phones today. Let's do a recap. iPhone 14 Pro has natural looking photos, better stabilization and video, smoother action mode, more contrast to look, no shutter lag, better low light video, and more detailed 50 megapixel sensor. While Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra's brighter and cleaner looking photos manages the flaring better, better optical and digital zoom, better exposure, fun filters to choose from, better macro shots, better slow motion, more detailed photos, better portrait mode, better night mode, and 8K video recording. iPhone 14 Pro is still the better video recording phone this year. I will give the slightest advantage because of stabilization and the cleaner low light video. And in terms of functionality, there's no shutter lag on the camera app, and you'll have a better vlogging and shooting experience using the main sensor of iPhone 14 Pro. But in terms of almost everything from the zoom capability, the portrait video, 8K video recording, and all the customization features of Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra, it is the phone to beat this year. Sure, iPhone 14 Pro has a slight advantage on video, but in reality, shooting both phones in a well situation on a milder movement S23 Ultra is as good as iPhone 14 Pro, and with everything added to it, it is better, no doubt. And there you go. Hope you enjoyed this video. I'll continue to compare these two phones, maybe the battery and the speed test next, so stay tuned. And as always, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.